And a quarter final number three here in Selsey. Sees Ian Jones, the whippet, against James Hubble. And I'm happy to say that Nick Rolls is back alongside me in the commentary box. Hello. A little quick game for you up on the stage there. Yeah, it was alright, it? wasn't it? Decent, decent standard. Brian played really well, I thought. I don't know what the averages were, but it felt around an 80, 82, yeah, something like that. about that, yeah. yeah. It's good. Uh, Good game. It's definitely the highest we've seen so far on the mm. streaming board. Good player, Brian, my man. Good player. Yeah, of course, the only male player that will play in both of the tournament finals tomorrow. A reminder that you can watch that with us. Please do join us on the England Darts YouTube channel. Three o'clock tomorrow. You know where to be. No excuses for not joining us. One thing I have spoken because it is my first time here at Sells. He just had a little walk out of the auditorium in the game that you and Anthony did. Perhaps it starts over. Kind of it's going to be James to throw first for the ball. Mm. Well, hopefully it does come through to you at home. There's a real buzz around 25. this place. Superstars everywhere you look. And that's also a 25. Players will throw again. This time Ian's throw for the bullseye first. Ian Jones, been uh, playing darts for years. West Midlands boy. Outside the 25. James Hurrell. And, and that's outside but closer. James wins the ball. Ex-England international is Hillbilly. First leg, it's James to throw first. Game on. Played the World Championship a couple of times as well. A couple of World Trophies. Good lad, James. 60. Good to see him get back to the top of the WDF rankings or somewhere near the top. 57. Of course, this enforced break because of COVID has given a couple of those players who perhaps were sliding just a little bit down the rankings the mm. opportunity to regroup and go again. Yep. 100. Very much so. And... Uh, I know we've mentioned it before, I'm going to mention it again. The golden ticket is still there for 100. these players. Nick Fall, Brian Roman, James Hurrell or Ian Jones. The next in line. 38. And of course, it's the start of a series of gold events, which we'll see players progress through to the World Championship. So... If 41. not here, opportunities in Denmark, Denmark Open, October the 1st, October the 3rd, British mm. Open back at Bridlington Spa, October 15th to October 17th, the week after the Welsh Open, a couple of events in North America in November, the Pacific Masters and the Seacoast Open, and then the last chance to get your golden ticket is at the Irish Open 95. on November 13th and 14th, so plenty of opportunities for players to get their way mm. to the lakeside. Darts like this. Hull's oh, got a great 125. chance. He had the darts in this leg, so he should be the naturally be the winner. 190. But that one change is This has to go now. Still got a chance. Treble 19. Not now. Treble 18 would leave double 12. Mm. Just check in. You might have heard there. 57. James well Ian, you is allowed to 28. ask the referee what he's scored or what he's got left. That was seven. Game shot on the first leg. Ian Jones. Ian Jones has zero left. He has. One nil up and Second leg, it's Ian to throw so first. As well. Game on. Averaging 83 and a half has come down because he was going for the out shots there. And a very, very good start from the man from the West Midlands. 
And then the lipstick again. One hundred and twenty-five. Good quality contest so far. Indeed. Sixty. Expected as we get to these quarter-final stages and forward to those semi-finals as well tomorrow. Selzy comes into its own on Sunday. Here, Jones is coming into his own here. This has been a really, really good start after mm. 89. And just look at it, he's scoring visits. It's turned full of about like a 60, then a yep. another turn, turn 40 on this occasion. So he's been consistent enough in the scoring phase. 95. And so too is Hubble. Both men averaging well into the 80s here. 60. Yeah, no, correct that, he didn't score six. Scored 60. Best six I've ever seen. <laughs> 119. Good dart. Ian, you require 141. So 141. Cannot be done now. So Hull back on 62. Ball 105. James, you require 62. Down to the tens. Two 16s for a level game. Game Good shot dart. The second leg. Good James dart, Hurrell. James Hurrell. Took the darts, uh, took the words out of my mouth. Good standard as well. 88 plays 87 on the averages. So third leg, it's James to throw first. Game on. So yes, a very good start. As far as Ian Jones is concerned, a break is not a break without a hold. So we're back to where we were before. 119. And a fantastic start. The leg from James Hall, 119. What can Ian Jones respond with? 60. James was in the England team with, um, I think, Scott Mitchell, 60. Jamie Hughes. Glenn Durrant, that sort of time is a really good atmosphere between the lads 60. in the England team. Not saying that there isn't now, but uh, it was a real camaraderie between them. You want them not walking up at your local on a Wednesday night, would you? Well, you would if you're the pub owner. Very true. <laughs> For the opposition. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see what you mean. Sorry, I thought you... <laughs> 95. That is an all-star exhibition. Mm. It's been an exhibition leg up until that point for James Hubble. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Left and south for the Chibeno score. One hundred. So all about the setup now for the hillbilly. Another one of them would be lovely. One hundred. You'll take that, especially with Ian not on a finish. One hundred and thirty. Good lead. James should require eighty. What he did with that 180 in the first leg to steal the darts, hit a big score to leave something and put the pressure, and of course, that's where the pressure lands now from a relatively simple 80 to suddenly one you've got to hit. And he's just going to square up for tops. 40. And if Ian Jones kicks it straight, he has Ian, two you require darts 56. Top tops. Tops. Good marker. Game shot on the third Perfect leg. Perfect marker. Ian Jones. And it is another breaker throw. Another breaker throw for Ian Jones. Fourth leg, it's Ian to throw first. Legs Game to on. One. The holder throw's been elusive so far, but Ian Jones will not mind that yet. I think this is where we started, wasn't it? Trina and the rain, the very first game of the day, was breaker throw for the first four legs, and we're, we're revisiting, so to speak. Look at the averages. You cannot split them. 84 apiece. 129. It's been lethal on the treble 19. 
60. And that means that James has stolen the darts in this fourth leg. Again goes down to see whether his 43. friend at 19 to home, but not on this occasion. Fifty-eight. Hold just of the advantage in this leg. But needs a score. You can tell his frustration. Forty-one. Yes, Ian's going to get himself in front here. One hundred and forty. One hundred and three points in front. And with the darts, most crucially. Yeah, certainly having been behind after one throw, one James is one two nine to start the leg. Sixty. I mean, Ian Jones is in all sorts of trouble, but uh, James hasn't been able to cement that lead, and has now surrendered it. Sixty-five. And a pivotal last dart there. At yeah, I like that. That's a good dart. Good dart. One twenty gives you two two chances to hit the treble twenty. Another single twenty would have meant he had to go twenty-five and then sixty before he had a shot of tops. 100. Ian, you require 120. The Shanghai for Jones to hold throw and go in one of the match. This is treble, straight into the single one and hold now a chance on one to eight. James, you require 128. Treble 18 to start the shot. And now he's got to go treble 20. Would have had a dart the ball. May go treble 18 here. 92. Ian, you require 80. He's himself on double 18. Should he come back? Single. Could be awkward for the double, though. Mm. Awkward enough for the single. 40. Yes. Yeah. James, you require 36. So for the fourth break of throw. Game shot on the fourth low. Ian James Jones Hurrell. missed the big number, so missed out on the chance to go for tops. And James Hull Fifth steps leg. in. James and it is a first fourth consecutive game break of throw in this match. It's a best of three from this point onwards for a place in the semi finals. Just two holes of throw for James Hull. That would be what he'd be thinking in his mind, but in this game, it's easier said than done. I was going to say, yeah. I think either player would be happy to have one hole to throw just at the moment. That's nice. 83. Ooh. Disappointed after that first Yes, start. I think so. I agree. That one's slightly awkward for Ian. He's had to move across. And he's got to go above it. 60. Sixty. And again, disappointed he wouldn't have got the treble. It's another leg in the offing here. One hundred. And you can't understate how crucial that tongue could be. Yeah, it's about now that Ian, against the throw, has hit his big score, hasn't he? The one eighty in the first leg, the one thirty in the in the third leg. And he's being offered a assistance here. Thirty. He's actually got the lead without, throw, without having to throw these three. James Hull's just having a bit of an off patch at the worst possible time. 60. It's a bit longer to get to the hockey. Poses himself. Long deep breath. Big visit here. 95. Can't let that frustration creep in though. Not at this point in the 95. match. 95. a good last start. Great last start. 188. Ian Jones he's hit, he's hit that customary. There it is. 140. There it is. 140 rather than 114. Yeah, I think. We're going to poke at the 81. How handy can Hummel leave this? Could do with the trip. He could go across 18s here. The way he shifted across, I'm thinking 45. he's going 20s, but maybe 18s might have been Ian, the better route there. 81. 58 would have left 130. Open bed to play with as well. Well, 49. Ian taking the chance there. He decided to go for the treble 10 rather than the 12 and ball. James, you require 143. 
Will Jones punished. make him pay, yeah. Sixty three, treble thirteen. Treble thirteen would leave double twelve, treble seventeen would leave double six. I think it's looking down the board. Ninety seven. Ian, you require so Ian Jones 32. Banks on James Hull not taking it out. Will he be rewarded? Ian yes, he play. will. And it's Ian a fifth Jones. consecutive break of throw. And Ian Jones will be hoping that the one hold of throw Sixth in the match is to throw here. First. Because if it is, Game on. he's through to the semis. Praying for a ton. 100. That's what you need, I think. Uh, 100. You know, James, with, with the exception of a 180, is not going to be far enough in front to tell Ian that he's out of the leg and that 100 may very well prove to be enough 30 or is it 15 Getting edgy on the stage wow the game was there in his grasp wasn't it you could just tell the tension set in just having a look at the averages <laughs> around 80s for the most part they've just 59. down outside the 80s into the high 70s. Mm -hmm. okay, it's not a lucky last start. Of course it's not from James Head, but he's fortunate to get 59 having scored two 85. with his first two. He's got to hit two red bits, I fear. Either this or the next one. There's one. Why not make it all three? 190. Why not? Oh, and Ian comes fighting back. 80. Not enough, you fear. But Maximum changes the complexion of the leg. 30, 59, 180, and suddenly things are rosy for James Hovell for yet another break in this match. 100. If James wins this leg. Do you think he's allowed to say to Ian, I want you to go first in the last leg? <laughs> Pull up again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'll deliberately lose. 85. I think we'll have a problem. I think the dart will end up positive. James, you require yes, 132. Yeah. Starts with the ball. He's got to go for this because Ian's on a finish. That's a, we may stay there. That's a beautiful lay. He's certainly looking there. This would be a magical finish. Probably an eight. 68 scored, 64 left. Treble 16. 84. Losing 48. Big finish for Ian. Ian, you require 136. James Hull will get his chance on 48. James, you require 48. Shoot out. Tops. Game shot gets on the it. sixth leg. Fantastic start for James Hull. And we are going all the way. Six breaks of throw. Seventh and final three leg. Three. It's James to throw James first. James Hull has the dart. But how academic Game has that been so far in this match? Yes, this has been indeed a crazy game. Some good scores, some poorer scores. We're looking at around about 80 average, so 27. 100. Ian Jones must be thinking, I'm fine second. Brilliant. <laughs> James this time has started with a ton, albeit it might not be enough. What a time for Maximum! He's been leaving those big scores for when he's been around 230, 240, but this time he's decided to hit one when he's on 501. His timing in this match, I have to say, has been impeccable. 58. Oh. 81 average and littered with darts, quality darts when he needed it most. 60. But I think the one thing we've missed today is a second 180s back to back in a leg. Yes, very much so. We might get a second 180 in the leg. 140. Quality touch. Mm. Puts himself in control. It's been a brilliant, brilliant last leg for both players. 60. It's like my front room. Nothing in it. Can he get down to a two dart finish? 100. Oh, take 103 from here now. 60. Oh. The door is ajar. It is, it is. Oh, and Ian's found a beauty. 
Can he slot another one in the side? He can. 140. What were we saying about his timing? James Again. should require 143. But, uh, Hubble will dash all these dreams and hopes. 143. Triple 20. That's a single one. Seventy-eight. Giving himself a chance. Ian, Ian requires sixty-one. Twenty-five. Yes, double eighteen. Game shot. And, and the Ian match. Jones Ian Jones is in a corker. It was a break Athlon in Selsey. And it is Ian Jones from the West Midlands who is through to the final four on the South Coast. A fantastic game. Both players averaging above eighty. But it is Ian Jones who is through to the semi-finals of the England Open.